afternoon, and welcome to the symposium Crisis and Communitas, Performative Concepts of Commonality in Art and Politics, organized by the University of Zurich, uh, in cooperation with the Migro Museum of Contemporary Art. My name is Dorota Sajewska, and it's a great pleasure for me to open the symposium and to welcome all the participants and guests who came here to exchange their experience, uh, to share their knowledge, and to work together across uh, disciplines on the topic of commonality. We are lucky to have such rich and varied panels of excellent scholars, curators and artists. And we have the privilege uh, to, of holding our, our conference in one of the most important uh, cultural institutions in Zurich. I would like to warmly uh, thank um, the museum's director, Heike Munder, for her hospitality the Head of Education and uh, Public Programs, Elena Navrotsky, uh, who extremely supported the idea of moving the academic conference into the context of art, and Markus Bösch, who is leaving now, uh, for the technical support uh, of our communication uh, during uh, the symposium. I would like to express my special thanks to Professor Susan Bachmores, uh, from the City University of New York, who kindly accepted our invitation uh, to deliver the keynote speech <coughs> at the symposium tonight, and what is really very important, to conduct a workshop <coughs> with PhD students and postdocs of the University of Zurich, which will take place on Saturday morning. Her immediate positive response to our invitation <coughs> with the meaningful words, I quote, it is such an important time for us to work together internationally, end of quote, affirms that the topic of the symposium is important not only from the theoretical point of view, but also from the political perspective of today, or political perspectives of today, I should say. Since the beginning of the new wave of right-wing populism all over the world, the notions of crisis and community have been extremely instrumentalized. The modernist meaning of crisis as an immanent condition of social change and as a potentiality to create new forms of being, of being together, seems to be in crisis itself today. In contemporary public discourse, we are permanently confronted with such usage of terms like migration, crisis, refugee crisis, crisis of values, identity crisis, crisis of masculinity, of femininity, and so on and so forth. In all of these examples, the word crisis suggests that there is a problem with the issue in question. In fact, behind this are powers that strive to keep the mechanism of social control by calling moments of social change a crisis. The instrumentalization of crisis in politics in order to eliminate any transformation in society by excluding non-normative communities was thrillingly discussed in the last exhibition, United by AIDS, organized by our host institution, the Migro Museum. We have the remains of this uh, exhibition here on the wall. Um, in the multimedia project, which is not more here, called Kissing Doesn't Kill, produced by the Ground Fury Artist Collective in 1987-1995, we were confronted with images of young men and women of different sexual orientations and races simply kissing each other. The act of kissing was accompanied by, by the words, I quote, corporate greed, government inaction, and public indifference make AIDS a political crisis, end of quote. Subverting the meaning of crisis by transforming of the so-called AIDS crisis into a political one, the artists and activists proposed a number of, of perspectives on how art can resist current politics, rethink model or models of social responsibility, and create new forms of solidarity. This uh, artistic example beautifully illustrates the central idea of our symposium. The interweaving of crisis and communitas, as well as 
the multifaceted interrelation between them and art. We are particularly interested in commonalities developed in the cultural practice of theatre, literature, film, music and fine arts, as well as in political protests, subcultural practices and social movements. Crisis and communitas are in the dialectical and dynamic interplay. However, social efforts to overcome crisis can be fought not only in the context of restoring traditional community based on identitarian values, investigating concrete historical material, artistic phenomena and contemporary social practices, we are striving for ideas of sharing commonalities, being in between, forming temporal, non-identitarian bonds. Looking to the research tradition of anthropology, of political philosophy, as well as to art, we propose to rethink the models of being together in history and in the present through the category of communitas. Here I should say who this we is. It's very concrete and personalized. Nina Zaila, Tadeusz Kocanowicz, there, Sandra Bieberstein and Luis uh, De Caillé and myself. We are the project team of Crisis and Communitas, performative concepts of commonality in Polish culture since the beginning of the 20th century. A research project based at the University of Zurich and supported by the Swiss National Science Foundation. Our focus lies on moments of crisis in which historically changeable concepts of commonality has emerged. The project investigates how crises can be seen as antagonistic processes between the communitas and the normative idea of the nation state as a community of exclusion. As the real implementation of commun communism in the Polish history is a relevant frame of our reference, the conceptualization of communitarian projects is intended to be a decentralized or, if you want, semi-peripheral supplement to the Western theories of communitas. Communitas, we say and we believe, in an, is an egalitarian form of community. Instead of excluding the other, it is based on the interrelationship between entities without hierarchy, without defined position with the power structures, as well on the responsibility for being together. Communitas subverts and annihilates existing inequalities and focuses on being in common, but without wanting to homogenize diversity. Communitas is conceptually related to political interruption and subversion of the present order. It opens up a dissonance of perception, an interval of the unpredictable. The political is the real where social movements can happen, and uh, therefore it is the realm of communitas, beyond structures and hence always precarious and fleeting. Since communitas is not an actual state, it must be explored in its processuality and non-essential potentiality, let's say performativity. Before wrapping up my short introduction and opening the first panel, I would like to thank all of you for your involvement in the project. We hope you will find this symposium just an inspiring encounter. Thank you very much. And, uh,